threatened. Breaking news. Breaking, Donald Trump bans U.S. flights from North Korea airspace after narrow missile miss. Donald Trump has banned airlines from flying over the Sea of Japan after a North Korean missile came close to hitting a packed passenger plane, it has been reported. Most of North Korea's airspace, known as the Pyongyang Flight Information Region, was already off limits to U.S. airlines, but the no-fly zone has now been expanded. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, said, due to the hazardous situation created by North Korean military capabilities and activities, including unannounced North Korean missile launches and air defense weapon systems, all flight operations in the Pyongyang Flight Information Region are prohibited. The move to extend the no-fly zone above North Korea by the U.S. follows the same moves made by Germany and France. The decision comes after the Hermit Kingdom fired a missile on July 28 that came close to a plane carrying 323 passengers on board. Air France Flight 293 had taken off from Tokyo and was heading to Paris when the missile passed by before plunging into the Sea of Japan. North Korea previously issued warnings to the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, when they were planning to conduct missile tests, however, the rogue nation has skipped out on this protocol in recent years. The FAA added, North Korea also conducted an extensive number of ballistic missile launches during 2016. North Korea did not notify ICAO or publish a notice to airmen warning of any missile launches in 2016 or 2017. A recent report from the Flight Service Bureau, FSB, stated that besides a direct hit, Falling debris from a missile re-entering the atmosphere poses a significant threat to aircraft. It said, any fragment of reasonable size hitting a tailplane, wing, or engine as the aircraft is in cruise at 450 knots creates a significant risk of loss of control of the aircraft. The chances of a missile, or part of it, striking the aircraft are not as low as it may initially appear. Given that all these re-entries are occurring in quite a focused area, Prudence dictates considering avoiding the airspace. The move by Trump comes after he recently labeled the Hermit Kingdom a menace threatening the world with nuclear devastation during a speech in Seoul this week. The president attacked the regime of despot leader Kim Jong-un and called on all responsible nations to come together to halt the nuclear threat from the rogue state. He said, the world cannot tolerate the menace of a rogue regime that threatens it with nuclear devastation. All responsible nations must join forces to isolate the brutal regime of North Korea to deny it any form of support. The North Korean regime has pursued its nuclear and ballistic missile programs in defiance of every assurance, agreement and commitment it has made to the United States and its allies. It's broken all of those commitments. After promising to freeze its plutonium program in 1994 it repeated the benefits of the deal and then immediately continued its illicit nuclear activities. In 2005 after years of diplomacy the dictatorship agreed to ultimately abandon its nuclear programs and return to the Treaty on Non-Proliferation, but it never did and worst it tested the very weapons it said it was going to give up. Trump emphasized that the U.S. refuses to be blackmailed or attacked and sent a stern warning to Pyongyang that previous regimes that have failed to comply with American rhetoric have been discarded. He added, America does not seek conflict or confrontation, but we will never run from it. History is filled with discarded regimes that have foolishly tested America's resolve. Anyone who doubts the strength or determination of the United States should look to our past and you will doubt it no longer. We will not permit America or our allies to be blackmailed or attacked. We will not allow American cities to be threatened with destruction. We will not be intimidated and we will not let the worst atrocities in history be repeated here on this ground we fought and died so hard to secure. So. What you think about this news please share this news to your social contacts and comment in below comment section, and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon button next to subscribe button to get latest news alert daily thanks for watching.